What's going on guys, it's King Games Wait and I here bringing you guys all my pulls from the sneak peek weekend. I pulled a lot of good stuff and I'm happy with all my pulls. I got a kit, I got two of these nice mats, and I got a ton of cards that I wanted and some cards I didn't really want, but they're good for trading and stuff. And I like the artwork on some of them, so I'm probably gonna keep some of them. Definitely not this one though. I got five Machina <laughs> Mega Forms. This thing was like so easy to pull over the weekend and I actually had two more but I traded them. This thing is crazy, crazy, crazy easy to pull. And I'm not really quite sure if anyone plays Machina anymore but if you do that's cool and uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, three Edge Imp Scissors. I don't like Saber, Saber's stupid but he's a new Plague Spreader Zombie and he's searchable with Tour Guide, that's awesome. So I kinda wanna play Fright Fur, because I pulled a lot for the Fright Fur slash Fluffle deck. Two Tao Ti, Shadow of the Yang Zing. I'm not really quite sure if this is a good guy or not. I haven't really read his effects, but if you want to pause the video, there it is right there. I also pulled one Darkness of the Yang Zing, Jiao Tu. He's the 0 to 2000. There's his effects. I think this is definitely the uh, the better one, because it's Send and 2 Yang Zing, then Special. One rescue hamster, cute little guy. I had two more, but I traded them. This guy, he can be good, I feel. Not as good as rescue rabbit or rescue cat, but he'll he'll find his way into uh, making the brokenness of the rescue archetype. Uh, shitty Zaborg, poor Zaborg. He, he's the only one that's left out of the secret family for the Mega Monarchs. Next we have Rubik. Male Branch of the Burning Abyss. I'm not really too much of a fan of Burning Abyss, but I'm sure someone will want this. And the, the artwork's really cool too, I can't lie. And it's a good card. Next, we have a really good card that I like, Danko Seka. I had another one, but I traded it. I had to trade it like for Cliffwort stuff because this card's just good. And I like the Cliffwort stuff and expect the deck profile soon. But this is Denko Seka, the new cold wave of the game. This card's amazing. Expect new Light Sworn deck profile with Denko Seka. Next we have First Movement Solo for Melodious Monsters. This is pretty good. Another cool archetype that I like. Three Fusion Reserve. Again, I think New Challenger is trying to tell me to play Fright Fur. I don't know why, but the card's kind of cool. Add polarization and more stuff. Sounds scolding. Not the best solemn card, but I want to test it. Next, we have two Herald of Ultimateness, the level 12 Herald. This card is crazy if you get it out, but I don't know. I don't know if anyone will run it. Next, we have one, two, three, four first of the dragons. This card was, again, very easy to pull, like Machina Megaform. This card, I don't know if it'll be good, maybe in Dino Rabbit, if you're playing Polymerization or some crazy odd build, but hey, he's kind of cool. And with the new normal pendulums they're rapidly putting out with the TCG uh, exclusives, who knows. Fright for Bear, Ultimate. This thing is awesome looking. Shiny. Next we have El Shadal Shekinaga. This is like, I bought one entry with like my five packs and I got this out of like my, cause I split with my friend and I got this, so this was awesome. And sorry about that, you can see I have one, two, three, four, and five <laughs> Chaos Exceed Baron Hope. I wanted to throw up, but I got one there in the sleeve for the Exceed collection. So that's pretty good. Next we got two Stellar Knight Triver. He's really good for the Stellar Knight deck. I advise you using him. He's the compulse for the deck and then he's just even more better. Next we have two number 39 Utopia Beyond. This guy's really good in Hieratic and maybe Hazy Flame. Who knows. Next we have two, number 99, Utopic Dragon, and fun fact, his serial number is 99. So that's kind of cool. 
And then we have the one Dark Rebellion XC Dragon. Really cool looking card, really good effect, Ghost Rare. I'm trying to get a good angle of the, the actual card here. Alright, so then on to the Cliffort stuff. I expect the deck profile really soon, but here's just the new stuff that I got for the deck. <clears throat> Sorry. Three Cliffort Scout. Obviously the Searcher, he's really good. Three Carrier. Three Helix. Or two Disc. I, I like two disc. I don't like three. Three's kind of weird. Uh, there's the other helix. Sorry about that. Three, sacrifice. And that's it. Those are all the cards that I got over the sneak peek and my kit. So be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Expect Cliff Fort deck coming. See you guys in the future.